Welcome back. Tuli Martinez with Martinez & Associates, continuing our topic on retirement and you. And today I have another, once again, my very good friend, Michael Jorgensen, with uh, Senior Counsel is here. And we'll continue our topic on some of the things that I run out there in the field. And it's this time it's going to be about long-term care and how the government sees a beneficiary. Mike, how are you? Thank you, Tilly. How are you? I'm doing really good. Now, see, when I'm sitting with clients, you know, they have uh, questions about I have to spend everything down, I don't need long-term care. What is your feedback being an attorney? What do you see out there? I call those half-truths. If you go to a government agency, they're not going to give you the full picture. Right. So what happens is when we think of long-term care, I know there's technical definitions, but when we think of long-term care, we're thinking about if you need caregivers in your home, or if you need them in assisted living, or you need them in, in skilled nursing like a nursing home, that's what I'm calling long-term care. There are ways that we can use the government benefits to help subsidize our uh, health care needs so that the assets that we have left last longer. Mm -hmm. The assets that we have left that last longer, they can be used to supplement the government benefits. But there's only three ways to pay for long-term care. Too. There's private pay, which is very expensive. There is long-term care insurance, if you're lucky enough to have it. Mm -hmm. And I hope that your uh, listeners are going to research that. Mm -hmm. At least get the facts before you make your decision. There's a lot of myths about long-term care insurance as That's well. That's correct. And then the third way is Medicaid, maybe in conjunction with some veterans benefits if you're a veteran. A lot of people think that if they have Medicare, that's all they need. Yes. I have Medicare, I have my supplement, but Medicare is only good up for 100 days. It will not extend past that 100 days, so how are you going to pay for the other long-term care that you need? I think they're pretty expensive. Oh, very expensive. Uh, I won't go into the prices here. None uh, is safe to say, though. I've had clients in their 70s with a million and a half dollars in cash that needed long-term care planning because if they live 22, 25 years and they're paying a nursing home or skilled or other caregivers 150000 a year, you can see they'll be broke in 10 years then what are they going to do for the rest of their lives? Exactly. So we want to plan now, preserve those assets, subsidize your health care needs with government benefits so that the assets you have left will last longer. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. And how can everybody get a hold of you? They can call my office at 619-8890 or they can email me at mjorgensen at seniorcounsellaw.com. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.